Today's video is all about Grip Edge and their new product, the G-Force Extractor System that stands for Foreign Object Removal System. You get this awesome chart. The extractors are right on top. The drill bits are underneath. An awesome little kit. Let's get into this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys how to use the new Grip Edge G4 system. It's a foreign object removal system is what the four stands for. Now I will be just demonstrating this on the LBZ. If you don't know, uh, in the recent video, I installed a new rear diff cover. That rear diff cover came with some studs. I installed those studs. I don't like how they are. I don't know how, like how they look. So we're gonna be taking those studs out and I'm putting in some stainless Allen head bolts. Now, unfortunately those studs were very cheap and I stripped them out when I installed them. So I'm going to be utilizing the new Grip Edge product here, the fours, the foreign object removal system to remove those studs. Now I will be doing an unboxing at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. I will also discuss my, you could say what I like and dislike about the product, what maybe I would change about the product as well. Grip Edge did send this out to us, so I'm very thankful to them for that. They did like the last video, so they wanted to see a demonstration of their new product. Right when you open this up, you can see it has a nice chart here. It has extractors one, two, three, four, up to seven, as well as the drill bit size you need for each extractor set. This is really, really nice. Now I did pre-open this. You do notice here that there is the first extractor is broken off. I did utilize this set already as a test to see how I truly liked it before I promoted it for you guys. Um, and I broke this off and you can see this is actually a user error, not a manufacturer's error, and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. This does come with a sizing chart to help you size it up. I haven't really ever used a sizing chart for extractor sets. I've always just kind of went with the size extractor versus the size of bolt. Now I'm gonna be utilizing the number three extractor. I do know that it's gonna be a, by the chart here, it's gonna be a 3 16 drill bit size. My favorite thing about this kit, I get all the stickers and stuff out of the way here. Um, is the fact that all the drill bits are at the bottom up here. And so you don't have to source your own drill bits or anything like that. So we'll take our 3 16 drill bit, go ahead and put our drill bit in our drill. It's time for us to get underneath the truck. Now you can't really tell in the video here, I'll try and get you closer. You can tell that this is completely rounded out. Now there's nothing left for me to grab onto. And it happened on all three studs that I have installed here. So these are very easy to use. Once you figure out the size extractor and drill bit you're gonna need, you go ahead and take that drill bit and drill out the, the fastener that you're removing. Once you drill out the fastener, you're gonna go ahead and hammer on here. I use my 32 ounce Milwaukee hammer to hammer it in. Tighten down the foreign object removal sleeve and then go ahead and start working this bad boy loose. If need be, you can work it back and forth because this is bi-directional. Now, unfortunately at the end, you didn't see how I took this off. It's very, very nice. I'll show you on this one. I actually, I actually cut this off so that you guys could see more of a closer demonstration instead of having this big thing hanging off. So I cut this one off and it's very nice. You just go ahead and snug this piece up. You take your ratchet on the on position or the four righty tighty type position. And then you just go ahead and ratchet this through. And watch the magic happen. Oh, you can already see it happening. Here we go. Look at that, just like that. Very, very simple. That right there is exactly why I love this little thing right here. Not only does this act as a guide for when you're taking a stud or a bolt or a screw off to guide you to where you take it off nice and straight, but it also is the basically the extractor to the extractor. It helps you take off the object that you removed off of the extractor, which is absolutely huge. And I'll discuss in the next episode of the channel and also on the podcast, exactly diff the difference between this Grip Edge product versus other extractor products, exactly kind of one I have in my drawer right now. So make sure you stay tuned for that video as well. All right, and so here you go. Here you can see on the inside of the stud just how well this actually grips. Now, if you want to stick around for exactly um, what I'm going to talk about this kit and doing a little unboxing on it, I'm um, do a brief comparison to other kits as well that I have in my toolbox. You can stick around for that, but I highly suggest this kit to a lot of people. Again, this is the Grip Edge 4's Foreign Object Removal System. 
it's very, very useful. Whether you need to take out a stud, a bolt, um, a snap bolt, a snap stud, a rounded screw, a rounded hex head screw or a screw cap, I think is what they're technically called, screw bolt cap bolts or whatever. Um, this kit is outstanding. It's well built, it's well made. It comes with everything you absolutely need and I truly highly, highly suggest it. Like I said, if you wanna stick around to the end of this video where I go more in depth in this, most certainly do that. But if not, have yourselves a great night. One thing I forgot to mention about this system is that it's a bi-directional system and that what, that what that specifically means is that you can work it either left or right. A lot of extractor sets are like a, a, um, a right extractor set basically to back it out. This way you can do say um, forward or reverse threaded studs or simply forward or reverse threaded nuts and bolts stuff like that um, and as well as it allows you to say work a stud or a bolt or a um, socket cap screw which I just call hex hex head bolts um, back and forth it allows you to work it back and forth to get it broken loose and then you can break it free really easily that's there's one thing I forgot to mention to you guys about this so now we're gonna go ahead and just kind of dive into this little kit a little deeper and show you exactly what you all get and the benefits to what this can actually do for you um, and save you a lot of time when it comes to taking up bolts or screws or uh, rounded heads and stuff like that. So let's get into this. All right, so right away when you open up your Grip Edge G4s, you're gonna go ahead and see you've got a moisture-free silicone packet, throw that away. And then you're gonna see you have a guide here and you're gonna have basically step one, find the appropriate size. Step two, recommend the drilling the size. Sometimes you have to step up the size, start lower and go bigger. Step three, hammer the extractor in. Step four, uh, and then move, remove the, the bolt or the foreign object. And then step four, use the foreign object removal sleeve to extract the object from the extractor. And then on the back side, you just have your chart that I showed you earlier, and then also the different types of fasteners that this system can remove. Of course, you get some stickers included in your kit. Um, the one thing I do like is it includes some stickers that kind of explain the technology and also like the bi-directional like I was talking about. As you can see here, it goes through quite a bit sizes. This one is really big and um, Man, that's a heck of a fastener that you'd be taking out with this one. But anyways, they have multiple different sizes. Starting at this one, you see here that I broke this, and I'll discuss this in a little bit here. You go ahead and take this off and move this up here, and then right below here, you have all your drill bits exactly for what you need. And then on the front here, you can see the different sizes that you have, one, two, one through seven, 30, 30 seconds, all the way up to 2364. That's your drill bits here, and this is your sizes. Very, very big fan of how this is all put together. The nice foam inserts. I, I'm a really big fan of this. It's very professionally built. High quality for sure, there's no question. I have reefed on these bad boys here, and they are still perfectly fine. So I'm not gonna mention the tool brand this is, but I'm gonna show you exactly the difference of the G4s versus a standard extractor set. And you can see that this is a tapered and very long. You're not going to get a bolt that you need for this size. You're not gonna get it in this far. So you're only gonna get a little bit in here and it's tapered. The G4s is not tapered. And that is a huge, huge benefit to this. The fact that you can have all of this contact with the stud or the bolt or whatever you're removing, that makes a major, major difference, especially when you're applying heavy torque to the object that you're actually removing. I did want to point that out. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to tell you that these don't work, right? Um, I will say that these do work. I don't like using these. I really do not like using these. If I'm gonna use, there's de multiple different extractor sets out there, um, different types of extractor sets. You know, Grip Edge has lots of different types of extractor sets, and this is kind of your big universal kit, and that's why I really fully believe that we should all have this kit in our toolbox or tool cabinets. Um, but I'm not gonna say that these don't work. I just don't like using these because these are pretty sketchy to use, and they always come out wobbly. And that's again, that's again this flute here, or this uh, foreign, object, ob foreign object removal sleeve is what they call it supposedly this you can tighten up to your fastener and you can back out your fastener in a very straight form fashioned way you could say um, but look at this I use this almost a year ago and I still have it connected 
to the extractor. Now I know I could just go ahead and put this in a vise and uh, take it off. I just haven't had to use this yet since then and I was kind of in a pinch and I was kind of in a rush. So when I did use this one, um, I just kind of threw it back in the kit. But if you listen to what I said, you have to throw it in a vise or you have to add additional time to taking this off of the kit that you actually have versus how quickly this comes off, how quickly this sleeve here removes the object that you took out. So massive, massive time saver. And again, that's one of the reasons why I highly, highly suggest this kit. Now, where can you get this kit? You guys know that I'm a DIY guy and I'm a D hence why DIY diesel. Tool truck stuff for me is hard to get. I either have to contact a tool truck guy or try and meet up with him and stuff like that. And it never really works out well for me. So a lot of my tool truck brands, I either buy off of eBay or other forums or stuff like that. Um, if I do catch a tool truck, like some of my players I've bought off the tool trucks, um, it works out really well for me. But again, this is going to be on your tool trucks. And if you don't have access to a tool truck, you can go ahead and get it from textchoicetools.com. You guys know that I've recently, again, this isn't sponsored by textchoicetools.com. Uh, Grip Edge sent this kit out to me for me to demonstrate today demo for you guys and give my honest opinion on it. Now I know you guys are all wondering what the heck happened to this guy, right? How did that snap off? I will say um, it's user error because I used the wrong size extractor for the wrong size fastener that I was taking out. Um, you could say for an object. I. It was my mistake, I shouldn't have done it. I was thinking I could get it done with the smaller one. I was hoping I could get it done with the smaller one because sometimes when you have to remove fasteners, you get really really thin walls and then it starts to get really sketchy if you don't have a really strong fastener you can split the walls so i was really hoping i didn't use it on these ones i used it on something else um, i was hoping to use a smaller size extractor but it turns out that uh this little guy couldn't handle the torque that i was putting onto it and boy did i snap it off pretty good so that's not available anymore. So it is very critical when you're figuring out exactly what size you need to use that you try and utilize this chart. Um, one thing that I would say that I wish this was kind of like a sticker. So you know how they have all these kind of stickers right here. I do wish that they took this and basically cut this out of here and made this a sticker. And you could say, put it on uh, maybe like the back or the side here, you know, cause look how per that would fit perfect right there. You know, they could get it to fit absolutely perfect on the side there. And then you would have your size chart on the side of this kit. And then basically it would be really, really simple to use this if that stick, if this was like a sticker on this kit. So that's one thing I would say. Now I do want to demonstrate this drill bit here for you guys, because I want you to make an understanding on it. And I want you to let you, I want to let you know exactly what type of drill bit this is, but you do need to understand that this is a left hand drive drill bit and not a right hand drive. So if you put it in right in, in forward um, basically tightening you're going the wrong way on this drill bit here if you can see that or not so you put it in reverse is what you could say and then you can see the drill bit moving in the right direction so like I said make sure you understand this is a left hand drive drill bit and you basically have to put your drill in reverse for these drill bits to work I do believe that's enough and you guys can definitely see that there's plenty of material coming out of there and these do, drill bits do work really well. So again, for you guys, I will be covering more of this on the channel, uh, this kit specifically, because I'm a big fan of it. Um, I do believe it runs about $249. Do not quote me on that. Make sure you check for that yourselves. Um, and also when you're doing your foreign object removal stuff, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are using the right size extractor for the right size fastener that you're trying to remove. Um, I will be covering, like I said, this on my podcast as well as the next YouTube episode, more in depth and a more comparison um, of this versus the other one that I have. Um, I kind of showed you guys a little bit here, but I'll talk more about these and as well as a little bit more of the grip edge. I wanted this video to be focused 100% on the grip edge and um, I can't express how impressed I am with this product. Like I said, I did mess up on this one. And again, that is not manufacturer's error. That is not the quality of this product error. That is human error. That is user error on my part. And that happens more often than you think than a lot of people do when it comes to tools. Most of the time, when you have a faulty issue with a tool, it's actually user error. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out Grip Edge, check out the products they have. 
awesome RPT stuff. It is a, a outstanding what they do with their products and the quality that you can get. So I highly suggest checking them out. I get my stuff from TextChoiceTools.com for Grip Edge just because it's easier for me to get to. But if you have access to a tool truck, you can most certainly get it off a tool truck as well. So like I said, make sure you stay tuned for the next video on this product and other videos to come. I will have more demonstrations with it. Um, I wanted a quick quick demonstration in the beginning for you people that don't know how, that don't stay to the end of these videos and want to click right through them so i wanted to get the demonstration right away and then we'll talk more about this soon so like i said like the video subscribe to the channel look forward to more content with grip edge because man it is some serious stuff and high quality tools so have yourselves a great night